Talking Money. And we're back to Talking Money with your host, Jeff Tarbell. All right, right. Here we go. So, uh, is that a uh, YMCA towel in your pocket? Or are you just happy to be here? So that's uh, <laughs> the answer to our quiz question. That at least that one YMCA spends fifty thousand dollars a year just replacing towels. It's and, crazy. And the article goes on. You you start to think about, uh, and it doesn't necessarily mean people steal them. I mean, uh, intentionally steal them. They just you know you wrap one around your neck. You walk out. You're sweating. You forget. And I've I've done that a couple times. I walk out in my car. I'm like, God damn, I got this towel with me. You don't walk it back in. You just take it home. And you go, well, that's a good shop towel. Exactly. You know, <laughs> clean my bike <laughs> with it. Right. You want to clean my bike with it? Yeah. Well, the interesting thing it talks about. You know, they the gym management said, you know, we're going to do no more towel service, and the response is rebellion ensued. Yeah, rebellion. And one of the, it, uh, and I think in that article it talks about one of the hotels. One of them did a the um, towel amnesty program. It was kind of their advertising. I think I don't know if it was Holiday Inn. It was a Holiday Inn, and and, and they they did it as a joke. They didn't expect people to bring their towels back, but it was, a, it was just an awareness. Like, we know you're taking these, and we forgive you, but just don't take any more. I mean, it's, 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 so it's, just, it's an enormous – we should be in the towel business. They actually made a coffee table book about that whole uh, towel amnesty day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. People they come back in with their towels, huh? Yeah. Okay. So if you've got a towel story for us, if you want to come clean with the American public – 339-1140, 1-800-920-1140. You can text us at 44-1140. I'm going to do this real quick. So, Kent, uh, I want you to either choose the left pile, the right pile, or the middle pile. Let's go with the right pile. Okay. Johnny, give me the right pile. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to split the right pile. We're, we're, we're choosing for an iPad now. Johnny, right or left hand? Right hand. Right hand. Always go right. Wow, well, this is scientific. Right hand. Now... We are going to fan these out. This is for a, an iPad 2. And these are people that registered uh, with various Comstock mortgage uh, loan officers at different open houses all over the area. So, John, no peeking here. Do you have a seven of clubs? <laughs> no. So, Go fish. Hold on a second. Uh, pick one. Radio silence, which is always great. for. So go ahead. Who do you got there? I got Nicole Jones. Okay. And what city is Nicole from? Sacramento, California. Okay, so I'll take that one here. Give you, they keep that pile. They want all those back. Okay. So, Nicole, we will uh, put out a call to Nicole Jones out of Sacramento. She has an AOL account, or we'll shoot her an email. So, Nicole wins the iPad 2. Very nice. Congratulations. Courtesy of the uh, folks at Comstock. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I um, You scratched out and wrote John Fodero here. I'm not, was, that, was that your handwriting? <laughs> I, I need one for my, <laughs> for my dog. <laughs> your, your, your dog needs an iPad, too? Absolutely. Yeah. Information, right? That's right. So, Nicole, yeah, we're going to expose Nicole to more information than her 60-year-old grandfather was. So we will get out that. So congratulations, Nicole. I'll keep her card, and you can wrap those up. We'll take those back. So uh, thanks for playing along. We did get a winner of our towel question. Mike wants the Hellwig um, uh, gift, gift certificate. So Hellwig up at— um, Nice time of the year to head up yeah, there. Yeah, but Amador, they're— Concerts, uh, Hellwig at Dusk, their Friday night concert series. They have uh, some small concerts and some wine tasting, so you can get a certificate for that. And then pretty soon, their concert series is going to be starting up up there, and it is going to be awesome. they got some they got some awesome bands coming, so we'll talk about that more as the summer tracks along. I'm um, off the text line. I'll go, all kinds of text now. 441140 from the 916. Okay, I'll let you boys answer this. I'll read. Because <laughs> sometimes I'll read stuff I'm not supposed to read. So I actually have to read it in my mind first. <laughs> And then not say it, which is very difficult because I'm, I'm not good with numbers. Uh, my wife and I were going to refi a couple months ago. We were locked in at three and, th- three and three quarters. Mortgage guy encouraged us to hold off because the feds passed some new program that lowers mortgage insurance. But it isn't place, still placed till June. We decided to hold off. I'm hoping Rachel stay low. Can you guys talk about the new program coming on June? Yes. You know that? Yeah, it's regarding FHA where uh, with the different monthly mortgage insurance premiums, if you have a mortgage now with a 0.55 mortgage insurance premium, then right now it's at 1.25. 1.2, yeah. Monthly, and uh, it's I guess after June they're going to revert it back. They're going to revert it back to 0.55. So here's my question uh, from the 916. You uh, so we're talking about an FHA mortgage only, and your loan had to have been originated prior to March of 09. So I think they're following the same date as the HARP. 
So you have to go back go back and look at when your mortgage was originated. If it was prior to 09 and you were currently paying that monthly factor of 0.55%, which you probably were if it was from previous prior to 09, then um, you can you can wait. Yes, you're at risk of having the rate move in the meantime. Now, the rate would have to move a lot. I mean, because the, the monthly mortgage insurance is effectively going to be half in June for that potential person than it is now. So, I mean, that means the rate would have to, to really go. And you know, know, all the other rules, you know, make sure you're going to save 5%, 5%. Uh, et cetera. So there's lots of different pieces. Um, so definitely make sure whatever was advised that uh, all the pieces – yeah. First, first and foremost, just make sure that your your loan falls into the category. Because don't you know? Don't right. wait to June to find out. Right. You don't. I don't qualify anyway. So you can you can look that up by your original date, and then you have to be able to save five percent on your payment, and the five percent cannot include just because you found a better deal on homeowners insurance or your taxes were, your tax rate was lowered down. So it's really the principal interest and the mortgage insurance. So you have to add those up and uh, divide by 1.05%. And that's what your payment has to be. And the other downside to the FHA Streamline, if there is one, and there is, aren't many, is you can't finance any of your closing costs in. And so what we're – so, I mean, Streamline refinances, no, like, if, like if rates were, were you know, where they are now a few years ago, there would be Streamlines coming out our ears because they were so easy to do. Mm-hmm. And, there, you know, a Streamline refinance means no appraisal, no requalifying. And for FHA individuals, but they jacked up the mortgage insurance fees not only on the upfront, so they, it used to be one percent, now it's one and three quarters again, and, and on the monthly they doubled it. So even if you went from five to three and three quarters, yeah, your principal and interest came down and probably came down a couple hundred bucks, but your PMI went up by a hundred, and then you had to finance the one point seven five, and then next thing you know, you didn't save anything, it, 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 which is strange because you're like. But I'm at five, and I went to three and three quarters. How could I not save anything? Because FHA bumped up the insurance premium to try to help fund the program, and it's kind of wiped out the, the savings. So they don't allow you to finance any any closing fees, and they must you must at least save um, a net tangible benefit right. net tangible benefit of five percent. So it is tough, and I would say as a general rule, if your loan amount is probably not over two hundred grand or it's it's kind of hard to do to make the make, make those numbers work now. Maybe June it'll be a little easier. So yes, we'll see. So if you have an FHA loan, I can assure you, you're going to get a ton of mailers right around the end of May saying you know you should refinance. If it. you're not already, if yeah, you're right. And they're all going to say your rate is two point seven five percent. Call now because I like to lie to people right off the bat. I don't <laughs> I don't want to wait. <laughs> and, and lie to them like, when we made them first. I want to just we should start off our relationship by just saying you know like. Hi, I am Shaquille O'Neal, and uh, you know, I mean, let's, let's, I, I've never understood the concept of let's just begin our entire relationship and business by lying right through our teeth to you. You're going to get a 2%, 2.75% mortgage. It just doesn't happen. So anyway, that's what that program's about. We've got to take a uh, one quick break for the top of the hour, a little uh, fo- ESPN News or Fox News or Fox Sports, foxsports.net or something like that. I guess we're not on camera. We're still on camera. So if you want to jump in here in the second half, we are. I've got a load of real estate stuff. We're going to talk about the 203K program we talked about a couple weeks ago. Got into it a little bit. We're going to do a little bit more today, too, because there's a lot of houses out there that would fall into the category, what I call, you know, just turning a just a piece of junk into a jewel. And you can do it for 3.5% down. It, it really does happen. So we'll cover that when we come back to you. Our number's here in the studio, 339-1140. 1-800-920-1140, or you can text us at 44-1140. That's Kent Smith. That's John Fartarero. My name is Jeff Tarbell. This is Talking Money. We'll be right back. Back.